Okay guys, I'm going to show you how this homemade pop-up camper goes up and down and give you a little, little tour. What I do is just tuck it in and then pull it on down. I'll show you how I, how I do that. Now make sure that that uh, back door there is open so it creates an airflow so it's easier to um, put down and then there are clips on each side, two on each side, so it latches on down and then there's little hinges on the front so as, as you can see it opens up from the back, here's how it opens up. So, take it off its stand here. So that's basically how it opens and closes. You can see it's it's pretty easy. Uh, I just had some one by fours here, and I put uh, maybe three eighths or quarter inch plywood on the top, put some painter's cloth down with the poor man's uh, way of doing it, and then some tight bond on top of it and underneath it. I don't have any, any leaks at all. Got the air shocks here, and they're 70 pounds. It's always like, everything I tell you, I pretty much got on Amazon or Home Depot. And you gotta adjust them a little bit because figure out where the best spot for them is gonna be. Windows, I got on Amazon. The night light solar lights i got at amazon trailer i got at lowe's all this you can do for probably i don't know 1200 12 at max 1500 but i don't think you even have to go that much and then um four by six trailer i extended it to four by seven moved the axle back uh, extended the tongue out this is uh i'm gonna make my breakfast all my breakfast utensils and stuff, slow cooker, coffee pot, all the stuff stored there. And what I did on the tarp, and again I got from Amazon, I just tack, tacked it up on the inside here and put the sheet all the way around, tacked it up on the uh, inside there, and then I just basically cut it right about in through here, put this one inch strip on it, and there's no rain coming out. No rain can get in get inside now. So it's pretty good, pretty good deal. Big tail lights I got on uh, again from Amazon. I secured on, on the inside with these two locks here. You got a hole. Oh, I can't see what I did there, but I secured that somehow in there. Can't get in for there, and then um, what else? Here's the other side here. So I'll show you the inside. Got my sleeping bag here. Got six-inch mattress here. Got some extra foam here on the sides for the little dog to sleep. Heater, electric blanket, pillow, fire extinguisher. Uh, smoke alarm and you can see on the inside here that's where the tarp is or the canvas that goes it's right on the outside there and then on the inside I just tacked it up and you can't see the nails or anything or the nails but screws but uh, it's underneath this oh sheeting here up in the top top there and just nailed another strip there 
the new water can't get in. And I just tack this up here all the way across. So yeah, for one person. And you could probably do this with a 5x8 as well. But uh, curtains there. That's pretty much it on the inside. But yeah, that's it. Toe's pretty easy. The whole thing's probably... I think the trailer was 265, but I took these, you can see I took off the back, so probably 200. Maybe I got I don't know, 10 or 20 pounds of, uh, you know, stuff in there. But I told it with a forward focus, rating of 1,000 pounds, so I don't have any problem going down, you know, going down the highway 65 miles an hour, so. I hope you enjoyed the video like this video give it a thumbs up uh, if you can go ahead and subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the bell and i'll see you on my next video